Let's bring in Goldman's chief economist, Jan Hatzius, talk about the, the number and a lot more. Morning, Jan. Good to see you. Good to see you, Carl. Uh, any one-offs in the data that would make this number a little more suspect, or is this confirming what we suspected, which is a slowdown in new hires? Well, I, I think it's largely what you see is what you get. We are seeing a, a slowdown. It's coming to a large extent in the sectors of the economy that are most virus sensitive, like retail, like restaurants. So I think it's confirming that the economy has been slowing sharply in the in the fourth quarter, and we're probably still in that in that process. And I think that's visible in the establishment survey with a lower than expected jobs gain. It's visible in the household survey where the decline in the unemployment rate was entirely due to uh, lower labor force participation and household employment actually shrunk a bit. So, you know, I think it's it's pretty consistent with the idea that as we go into the winter, the virus numbers are taking a toll. And that probably also means the economy requires somewhat more support on the fiscal and on the monetary side. Although as we go into 2021, and, and especially into the spring, we're very optimistic that there will be a sharp recovery once we, once we get there. But, but, but there's still a little bit of uh, ground to cover between now and then. Yeah. And your desk has been pretty good at trying to determine the odds of a deal coming together. And this week you did say that you thought it was a little bit more likely. Um, on what are you are you basing that? Is it simply the uh, commentary we've gotten from leadership or something else? It's basically that. So our, our expectation has been seven hundred billion dollar deal after uh, inauguration day on, on January 20th. But it sounds like there's a somewhat higher chance that things might already come together more quickly. The two sides have moved together uh, a bit with Democratic leadership endorsing the $900 billion uh, uh, number. And so it seems like they're not that far apart anymore. So things could happen somewhat earlier already. Jan, 9.8 million workers are still out of the workforce that were employed before the pandemic. I'm wondering how long you think it's going to take to get back to full employment and what exactly full employment will be after COVID-19. How many people will be out of the workforce and the labor force permanently that would have otherwise stayed in for another three to five years? We do think that it's going to take probably several years before we're back in the sort of sub 4% range that we had prior to the pandemic. For the end of next year, we're at about five and a quarter percent for, for the unemployment rate. And as you say, that only shows you a, a partial picture of the labor market damage because you have seen people drop out of the workforce. Now, I think the news on the labor market has generally been, been good. I mean, not, not in this report, but if we look in 2020, since the, the economy bottomed and the, and the uh, you know, restrictions started to ease in, in April, May, generally it's been better than expected. But we've also seen, I think, less evidence for scarring effects in the labor market than a lot of people were concerned about. But there's still some risk of scarring. And I think from a policy perspective, if I were a policymaker on the fiscal or monetary side, I would be urging that more, more, uh, more support is needed in order to minimize those risks. I can't help but think of the parallels between now and 2008. You have a new administration transitioning into office. November 2008, the unemployment rate was 6.7 percent. November 2020, unemployment rate 6.7 percent. Obviously, different timelines, different external forces. But, Jan, do you think the slowness of the jobs recovery this time around is going to make us look at the recovery after the Great Recession and say that actually happened fairly quickly? Or do you think it's going to be quicker than that? I think it's, well, it is, I think, much quicker. The, the, the level of unemployment is the same, but the direction is different. Back then, it was 6.7 percent on the way to 10 percent at the end of 2009. Now, it's 6.7 percent, in our view, even with weaker numbers in the in the short term to on the, on the way to you know five and a quarter percent by by the end of next year so I do think that the shape of the recovery is very different this is much more v-shaped than than the than the post great recession 
recovery or the early 2000s recovery or the early 1990s recovery. So I, I do think we'll, we'll be looking back on it and say the, the downturn was, of course, unprecedented and really terrifying, but the, the comeback of the economy also is, is faster than in these past cycles. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.